Pizza is one of the world's most popular foods, enjoyed all around the globe and millions are eaten every day. These pizza wheels are great for slicing them up. But why only use them for pizza? Today I'm going to test one out with 100 different foods to see just what we can and can't cut with a pizza wheel. If you enjoy this video, you can make sure you don't miss my future content by subscribing to my channel, clicking the notification bell and selecting all. So let's get started. Maybe you want to make a nice side salad to accompany your pizza. I tried using the pizza cutter to slice up this iceberg lettuce. And it works pretty well, just shaving bits off the side and cutting it up into strips. Plum tomatoes? Yeah, no problem. It does cucumber slices, which you can then chop down the middle. It's great for coriander, olives, and even feta cheese. Toss them together in a bowl with a drizzle of olive oil and there's our delicious side salad. But what about desserts? Something light like lemon meringue pie? No problems. Tarto citra or cheesecake. Sticky toffee pudding. Ice cream block or apple pie. Yep, it handles them all pretty easily. If you want to buy a new pizza cutting wheel, there's a link in the description below. It can do naan bread, pita bread strips for dipping in hummus, garlic bread, sliced bread, butter. You can even use it to butter your bread. It struggles a little bit on a club sandwich, but works great on a fish finger sandwich. Wraps, bagels, crumpets, soft cheese, hard cheese, cheese on toast, fried egg on toast, hard boiled eggs, scotch eggs, small pork pies, sausage rolls, steak slice, quiche, salami sausage, a hot dog sausage, right the way up, a hot dog, and I figured I should try a McDonald's cheeseburger. No problem. A quarter pounder, yeah just about, and a Big Mac. Well, no, not really very good. This half is just a mess, but I can restack it. I cooked up some steak and tried that. I guess it depends how tough it is, but this kind of worked. A rack of ribs? Yeah, no problems. Preparing fish didn't really work and I'm not going to get too graphic, but it's great for sandwich ham. I tried dicing up gammon ham into cubes. But that didn't really work either. But tinned Spam, yeah, that worked really well. Spaghetti Bolognese to make it easier to eat. Potato waffles, yeah, no worries. I tried slicing up a potato to make french fries, which was a bit too much for it really. But it's great for cutting up carrots. Slicing up a leek is really easy. Works well with onion, asparagus, runner beans, bell pepper, and you can use it to do all your chopping for a complete meal. I cut up this courgette, sliced up some mushrooms, celery, spring onions and cut this tofu into cubes. Cook them all off in a frying pan, then slice up some pak choy and chilli pepper and add them to the pan. When it was all cooked I served it with some rice. 
And if you like, you can use your pizza wheel to slice up some chives and sprinkle them on top. You can cut slices of avocado, gherking, and even beetroot. Now let's see how well it works with fruit. It's great for slicing up a banana, strawberries, mango. You can cut this kiwi in half to eat it with a spoon. Grapes. You can cut a peach in half and slice it up. Pineapple rings. Tinned pears. But this stick of rhubarb was a bit too stringy to cut through all the way. Passion fruit was a bit too tough for it really, and I had to force it through. Watermelon is just a non-starter, but if you have a slab of melon, the wheel slices it easily. You can put it all into a mixing bowl and make a nice fruit salad. Or sprinkle some over the top of your pancakes. It's great for cutting up sheets of puff pastry and putting lines in to make a lattice. It works well on apple strudel, croissants, chocolate eclair, cinnamon swirls, donut. It struggled a bit with this pretzel, but works great with jam tart, apple frangipan, or cherry bakewell. And you can easily cut marzipan into even sized pieces. It cuts nougat, marshmallows, Twinkies, freshly baked flapjack, protein bars. It crumbled this aerated chocolate slab a bit, but worked great on this Toblerone. You can cut out cookie dough shapes or cut through the finished product once it's baked. It's great for slicing up homemade brownies or a chocolate tray bake. But this Madeira cake was just a bit too thick to cut through. So that's our 100 food items tested. Pretty cool, huh? You can let me know in the comments which was your favourite. Don't forget, if you want to buy a pizza cutter, there's a link in the description below. And make sure you don't miss any of my future videos by subscribing to my channel and selecting all notifications. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.